Pedwell Park, uh, probably one of the most unique circuits we have in BSB from its tight, twisty undulation off camber corners. Scary, fast and unique. Amazing place, tight and the mountain. Logistical nightmare, very narrow. Utterly amazing place. Even the location from your, your pits, your paddock, hospitality, totally unique. Makes for great racing. It is tough, it is challenging. Mountain, narrow, home. Welcome to Cadwell Park, the home round for Honda racing. This is like England playing at Wembley or Manchester United playing at Old Trafford. This gives us home advantage. However, Cadwell Park is one of the hardest tracks on the BSB calendar. It's essentially made up of two tracks. You've got a fast flowing section, multiple gear changes and high corner speed. And then you've got the mountain section and hall bends, which is all second gear and very, very physical. Let's catch up with our team riders and look at some data and see how we can get the perfect lap. Cattle Park is a unique circuit. We have a jump in it for a start, which you obviously don't get any any other circuit. Cattle's a, a story of two halves. It's a uh, it's a fast flowing section, the first part of the track, and then the second part of the track is tight and twisty. So, setup of the bike is is very much a compromise between the two. The biggest challenge is trying to make up the time in the slower half past the mountain, through hall bends, hairpin, barn, is where you'll lose the most amount of time. So for the fast sort of flowing section of Cadwell, we need the bike to, you know, to finish the turn so the rider is able to, to use the bike fast and flowing. The second part of the track, we need the bike to be nimble and agile. So it's just that compromise between the two and basically we don't want to hamper too much on each side but make it a you know, capable bike for both parts. Another issue with this track is how narrow it is and how few passing places there are. You've got to have a bike that's good on the brakes because it's the only place you're going to be able to pass. So to summarise it really, a bike for Cadwell Park is is a bike that is going to be fast, but also nimble and also good on the brakes. Do you know the, this little triangle of new tarmac, this stuff yeah. that's wider where that kid just went over in the bicycle? Yeah. That's where you want your wheels to be tipping in, I think, at like yeah. 90. Yeah, you know the curve. Yeah, and that pulls you over the curve. And you're heavy into it on the brakes. But, so I'm using the limiter as a reference so, and I'm trying to just nick a little bit more limiter every time. But the more I try and nick, obviously, it's hard to get it back and I've sort of been coming out, coming into here and then glancing off it and I need to keep turning down to this second to last red part of the kerb to open the left up to be able to get it back on the gas. And then because this corner here goes from right to left and the track disappears, if you don't get back on the throttle then that's when the rear goes light. It's like it's nearly whenever you go it's slow here, around. this yeah. track's nearly more aggressive yeah. than whenever you attack it because you need to you keep the rear loaded. To get yeah. load the rear out, yeah. Will you and Vicky? Do you want a cool story? I've crashed at uh, Charlie's 2, I've crashed at Park, I've crashed at the Gooseneck, I've crashed here, and I've crashed at the Nick's Chicane. <laughs> I'm probably using a front brake up until this first curb, yeah. and then off it, and then you actually pick a little bit of gas up to help change direction. Really? But you can't build into it, you just and then as soon as you go through the left, you're hard on the gas. And some riders are Loads of rear brake. actually riding the curb here. Yeah, you are. Every lap we are just clipping the edge of that red kerb. You just feel a little doosh, 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 every single time, yeah. It's maybe only four or five inches, but that's the bit that, if you did the perfect qualifying lap, that's what you would use. But you're on the edge between grass and tarmac. 
So now we're starting the kind of woodland kind of mountain section. We've done the fast flowing section. And from here, it's second gear over the mountain, through hole bends to the hairpin, which is first. Up to second for barn? Yes. And barn, so you've really only got one, two, well, you go back one and up one, and that's it. Mm. As opposed to all that, which is. From Mansfield to the last corner, you do two gear changes. You go back to first, first, first for and here. Second. And Where, then. Whereas from here, all the way around, you're using literally second all the way to sixth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then here, you do second, first, second, first, until you get onto the start and finish straight. Which couldn't describe a track of two halves in any better way than that you're using. <laughs> You know, multiple, all the gearbox through there, and then just using two gears through here. This bit's like a proper British superbike track, and then this bit's like an Irish road race. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the insight there from the boys. Spider used to be Dan Linford's crew chief back in 2015 for four years. He's back on a Honda this year. He's having an incredible season so far. So that's why Chad caught up with him. Dan, it's almost come full circle. We're back at BSB and you're back in a Honda and you're back to winning ways. It's been a brilliant season so far. How has it been for you? Well, you summed it up yourself. It has been pretty brilliant, to be fair. Um, I've said to a few people, when I joined this project at the end of last year with Ian Optimum, the team owner, it was all about having a little bit of fun. I'd had a few sort of rubbish seasons in Superbike and I was fed up of it going down the sort of list of teams and I wanted to try and get a bit of fun back. So honestly, it started out having a few Guinnesses on a night and just dropping the career and having a little bit of fun. And then when I started winning races earlier in the year, I sort of had a bit of a second wind as, as the career goes and started drinking water again and training again and all the rest of it. So, so yeah, to be sat here with yeah, six race wins this year and leading the championship, it's, it's great, not just for me, but for the team. We've had a lot of fun and we've had a lot of success and now really it's down to the last four rounds to try and seal the job and uh, try and become champion at the end of the year. And you look really, really comfortable on the bike. You do like I've seen you in many races and we've discussed off camera where you, you drop to second or third and you seem to bide your time and then make your pass or make your move. You seem so relaxed. Yeah, and the good thing about this year is the performance has come, I'm not gonna say easy, it's never easy, but the performance has come relatively easily. So I've been able to focus more of my attention on just sort of using my experience more, yeah. which can be situations like finding clear space on track, yeah. only pushing sort of when it's safe to do so, and just trying to use my head to try and become that rounded sort of championship challenger. Unfortunately, the performance has come, you know, without having to overstress on the bike. Not as strong here at the moment at Cadwell. We didn't get to do any testing and lost a little bit of time yesterday and such, but we'll be fine. But yeah, in general, we've had a successful season. Like I said, the performance has took care of itself, so I've been able to maintain some consistency. Good feeling with the bike. I haven't really changed the setup of the bike drastically from the start of the season to now. It's just been clicks and gearing. And I'm just trying to keep that feeling of uh, what I'm used to on the bike from round to round. Yeah, you seem to be so in sync with the bike and the times are so fast. Like you mentioned previously that you're so close to Superbike. I think your super stop times are good enough for top 15, maybe more. In some situations, yeah, and some, some tracks have been closer to Superbike lap times than others. Yeah, we've been really, really close. So I guess that's a real good judge for the likes of Honda and the organizers to see sort of where Superstock is in relation to Superbike. Well, good luck for the rest of the season. It's been a pleasure to chat with you. It's a pleasure watching you on track. It's good to see you just enjoying riding. Thank you. Cheers, Chad. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Thanks for that, Chad. You can hear now, Superbikes are on their formation lap. Race tension is building. Let's go and see how the boys have got on with the racing. Lots of positives taken from the weekend. Fastest ever lap at Cadwell. You started third row in the last race and you've had a 10th and 11th. Yeah, it's really good to be back in the top 10 again and it's been it's been a great weekend. I can't I can't let this one result in the last race take away all the positives of the weekend. Every single session we got faster and faster, even in morning warm up, I was in the 26s on an old tire. Fastest ever lap of Cadwell Park in race two this afternoon. And not too far away from some, some top riders, so I was expecting a little bit more in that last race, starting from the third row. I thought I'd be able to go with Brooksy and, and that next group. Yeah, in all yeah. honesty, I just didn't quite have the pace of them boys. And the biggest challenge I had was coming from Hickey behind me. And, and I was enjoying the fight that I had going with him. I put half a second into him, then I made a mistake and he was back on me again. And I was just trying to just nick a little bit more time through hall bends, which is a risky place to, to do it really. I should know better, but I wanted another top 10 bad and 
they say if you're not crashing, you're not trying, and nice to have a crash and not hurt myself once. <laughs> so. Break our end of Cadwell Park, three successful races. Points finishing mm. in every race. So this is your most successful BSB weekend. Yeah, really surprising. But one of your hardest. 100% hardest weekend I've had today, but weirdly more successful as well, which is obviously normally the case. Yeah, coming in the weekend, I've been worried for a while about this one. We've done some testing here before the race, and it's been a track that I've struggled at massively. We did a, a full day test. He was going okay, he was learning the circuit, he was learning the bike. It was quite early on when he started riding it. We come back and he's moved on nearly 2.3 seconds, a lot quicker. So it's a big chunk of time to fight. To get points like that in the last race, as long as that is my hardest race today, but to come on with points, I'm absolutely over the moon with. The lad's got talent for sure. Um, you know, and to bring down the lap time the way he's done in the short amount of laps that we've had here at Cadwell is, you know, fair play to him. He's done a great job.